Let's see. Bulwark is strong even in its new form. Breaching Shot is very, very powerful, but only if you mount a good one-punch weapon to make use of it. Okay. Don't do it. It's a travel contract. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do this one. Oh, hello. Mr. Oliveira, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I'm Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve a mercenary review board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander Thor? Uh, let's see. Certainly, Lady Centrella. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. I'm pleased to hear it. The job that I have for you is, relative, is a relatively simple one. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I'll pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us about what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Lady Centrella's image is replaced on the screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. She is a derelict vessel on Argo. One of only two ever made. For 200 years, she's been lying in the state... In... Lying in state on Axelus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you're going to bring her to me. Yeah? And how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Virtanen. I have engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It will carry you to, a, to the Pirate Moon, where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict, and you will protect them until the work is done. This should be all well within your capabilities, Commander Thor, unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. Pirates don't scare me, I've fought the worst in the, inner, the inner sphere has to offer. Then I see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there can be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Oliveira will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander Thor. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, bro. We're looking a little we're looking for a lifeline, and I think this is as close as we're gonna get. Uh, let's see. Okay, Lady Centrella, you got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll look forward to your contr your contract to Mr. Oliveira. The stories of your exploits in the Inner Sphere are well known to the Magistry. Strissy. Huh. Commander Thor, you've built quite a reputation for yourself. Let's hope you live up to it. The contract for Lady Centrella's derelict recovery job is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think you're ready. Okay. So, that'll give me a bunch. It might cost me a bunch, but that's okay. I haven't found any mention- Okay, travel to Alloway and dock with the jump ship and you'll find waiting there. Carry you to Axelus, the pirate moon where the Argo crash landed centuries ago. Where the details will be provided upon ar arrival. I haven't found any mention of Axelus on our star map, Commander. It appears to be completely uncharted system. Makes me wonder how Lady Centrella knows where to find it, but it isn't my place to ask. Calculating course now, Commander. Okay. Oh, Behemoth's back to duty. Unfortunately, it's going to take a little while before my Shadowhawk's ready. And I'm going to want that for this. We're going to want maximum firepower. Uh, banging noise draws you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you find Glitch disassembling one of the Leopard's inner walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked behind her. She pauses, then explains. There's a few cupid, cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Set aside money to pay the fine. Morale increased by one. You look glitch in the eye. 
You know how the chain of command works. You have to clear th uh, changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? You look over Glitch's work. It's cleanly done with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the cost of the fines to the benefit of the mech warriors and decide it's worth it. Okay, so actually, we're pretty much going to have our, our mech as soon as we get to Alloway. So that's that's kind of fine. Like, can I skip these cutscenes? I guess not. I guess it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, we're gonna wait until the Shadowhawk's ready and then we'll go after the mission. Unless, of course, it just chucks us into the mission. We've arrived at Alloway, Commander. Ready to proceed with our current contract? Not yet. So what other contracts do we have? Why does this take so long? Okay, there we go. So we do have middle management. Assassinate. Decent price. It doesn't look like there's a limitation on that one, but we should probably do this first, because it'll probably save me some money. Uh, so I guess let's just spend some time. Okay, so Shadowhawk is complete. Let's save. And let's go take out this mission. Commander, I'm setting a course for Lady Centrella's jump ship. Strange, though, this moon is talking to us. Axelus doesn't appear on... Oh, it's taking us to Axelus doesn't appear on any of my maps, which leads me to wonder where exactly are we going and how do they intend to get us there? That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach was doing somersaults. I was still doing somersaults. It's because those crazy bastards use a pirate point to get us here. If we suffered a misjump, a sour stomach would be the least of your concerns. The leper could have gotten irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us in the academy were the stuff of nightmares. We're mercenaries. Our job carries an assumption of risk. Here are the commander. Stow the complaints. And pay attention, we have a job to discuss. For any map of a barren moon fills your view screen. A section of the image has been highlighted in white. The Argo's crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of the pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. The gang is the closest thing that Axelus has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? Let's see. They're patchy at best. I don't know... I, I don't think Axelus gets a lot of visitors. They have a strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground defense, ground-based defense, defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. So the pirates have vehicles and turrets. Maybe a few battle mechs. Got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar-guided anti-aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar tower so that Sumire can approach the derelict. After you've secured the crash site, she'll, she'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. Then they'll miraculously get 200, a 200-year-old 200 wreck flying again. Lady Centrella is a massive stack of seabills, I uh, bet a massive stack of seabills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. I'd never heard of Dr. Farrah Maroud before Lady Centrella mentioned her, but I did some digging after a meeting. She's telling me the truth. The dock has quite a reputation. It's supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wonder kind and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. We'll see. I wouldn't expect to find a really top-notch engineer this far out of the... outside the Commonwealth. Hopefully Dr. Maroud... Uh, Murad. Sorry, not Maroud. Murad will defy that particular stereotype. We'll find one way or another soon enough. Good hunting, bro. I'll be keeping an eye out on you from up here. Okay. Let's finish this mission, then we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. So, uh, I don't really feel like bringing this sucker along. And that one's done for a while. So, let's get rid of Medusa for Glitch. There's at least Brothor and Glitch. Yeah, send in the biggins. We'll see how this goes.
And after this, I think I might switch games. I like this game, but I don't know if I can stream it super consistently. It more seems like the kind of game that I'd just load up for fun. The main problem is I just, I, I'm having trouble reading out all the dialogue. It's like really rough on, really rough on my throat. I guess it's just because it's a lot of dialogue to sort through without a whole lot of like immediate breaks. It, well, it alternates. It alternates between like pure solo commentary and pure like talking. Yeah, it's a real slow and real kind of grindy game. And like, I like those as a time waster. The problem is from like a YouTuber or Twitch series, that's real rough for me. Because <laughs> I'm more or less, um... I mean, I... I spent a lot of time waiting. Let's see, would Shell like it? You could grab her for this. Nah, she wouldn't have any any interest. Welcome to Axelos Commander. It's every bit as charming as you'd expect a pirate-occupied moon to be. Find Grim Simple's radar stations ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles, for the time being at least. We know that Grim Simple has at least one lance of battle mechs, so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate's turrets as you make your way to the base. They pack a nasty punch, and they can also sensor lock on your mechs. And for the turret generators, that'll be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. After the pirate's radar stations are down, you'll be clear to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting, Commander. Knock out the radar cover, crush any pirate resistance, and secure us that derelict. Okay. So I see turret, turret, radar stuff. And there's the generator. This would have been a spot for long-range missiles, admittedly. And we lost a lot of that, but we do have the large laser. No one else seeing this. Wake up, you idiots! We've got company! But they're driving giant battle mechs. We can't fight against them. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight! Okay, so it does a decent chunk of damage from a very long range. Main issue is... all it's good for currently. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that for the time being. Let's see, I think it explains it, but watch heat and space fights. Right, it probably doesn't dissipate nearly as fast. Ow. So that's some kind of tower, probably what I need to destroy. And a bulldog. Okay, she just hit the bulldog from here. Well, that did some damage to it, but it didn't wreck it. Anything. PPC and long range missiles. Not pretty. I'm mostly hoping to just kind of take things out one at a time and kind of let them come to me. We got a sucker coming from there. Unknown turret. Well, she'll always have enough range to fight that thing. Get 
Yeah, we do a decent chunk of damage. I wonder if you ever played Halo Wars 2. Uh, I think I was playing Halo Wars 1. The problem is they were originally built for the Xbox, which makes them kind of awkward to play uh, from my perspective a little bit. I'm not very good with uh, controller controls for the most part. Let's see. We can jump up there. Gets me a good view of, well, that. Uh, let's see. But no, I, I don't know. I grew up with uh, with real-time strategy games on, on keyboard and mouse and whatnot. Makes it a little harder for me to want to go back to older styles. Okay. So if I wreck that, I could. We still got whatever that is. Looks like we missed again. Yeah, someday I'll maybe load it up. I I would like to do some kind of like insane Halo LP slash like stream gra stream gravaganza. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I'd I'd love to play through probably when the MCC comes out on PC. That seems like a reasonable thing for me to work on. So you like forts then? I already played forts. It was okay, and that definitely is not an FTS. Uh, that is not an RTS. That is like a competitive tower defense game? And I mean, it's kind of fun. Okay, so let's turn off the medium laser. And the LRM. But yeah, I enjoyed Forts. I've already played it. It just... It's one of those games that you really do have to play multiplayer to enjoy. Owie. And I don't currently have a whole lot of people to play it with. And honestly, last time I played it, it went alright. But also, like, I I truly do, like, for everybody watching this, uh, I, I know I get a bunch of people that are like, oh man, Wander, if you like this game, you're going to like this game too. The answer is almost always yes. Um, so we've got a couple of unknown vehicles there. The main problem is just, like, my channel lives and dies based off of uh, new games, almost always. And so, like, I, I'd say I appreciate suggestions because it's interesting. The main problem is just like, I can't... I almost never have time for it to matter. Let's see, if I turn off these two, we just switch to the LRM. It'll do some amount of damage to it. There we go. That's okay. Um, but yeah, my channel lives and dies based off of new games. So like even this game, for example, it's not new. Um. Let's see. I'm not going to see them if I go up. No, no, no. I'm going to see one of them if I go up here. I might as well get the jump on them in this case. So what do we got? Two tanks? Perfect. I'm never sure what multi multi targeting exactly does. Cause it seems like I always just end up shooting one person and that's about it. Um but yeah, I can never cover every game, and then oftentimes I just have to like play a little bit of it and then move on. I think I'm gonna redo her build. I need more guns. Um but yeah, my my schedule is so tight I oftentimes can't uh play more than, like, one thing. Let's turn on the PPC. Can I, can I hit this guy from here? Looks like I can. I gotta get some more heat sinks. Specifically on her. Probably at the cost of, like, one of the other things, but still. New click 
Then you have to click, click the oh, click the weapon for A, B, and C. I gotcha. Uh, you know what? Let's just brace. Just heat sink a little bit. Because I don't see anybody else around. And it's easier. I was kind of hoping the way it would work is that you just reserve... Uh, so, you fire your first couple weapons at, like, X enemy... And then if... Okay. That's done a commander. The AA guns are down for now. Get to the crash site and secure the area. Okay, we still have the turret generator, but I don't actually know if that's going to be useful. Oh, we have enemy contact. Do we? I don't see anything else. Unless it's... Unless it's just... Oh, there's a turret over there. Okay. Well, we're a little lucky and or it hasn't seen us. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, shoot the turret generator, I guess. Can can I not? Okay. Yeah, it must have been behind cover. Let's see. And you here. Oh, did I... I turned wrong. Okay, we gotta we gotta kill the turret generator before I get zapped by anything else. Did I turn wrong again? Whatever. Let's hope that turret doesn't shoot at me. It didn't for some mysterious reason. I'm a lucky duck. Maybe it's just not turned the right way. Let's see. But yeah, I I don't know. It's like. I always hate, feel like an absolute jerk when people are suggesting stuff, but like, the answer is always no, so I don't know what to say, apart from just like, I can't. It would be nice, but I really, truly can't. It's like having a bunch of, I guess, I'm not going to say children, because that would be unfair. Um, but I have a bunch of people that more or less are just like, you know, mildly hoping for things from me. And I always have to say no. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys have younger siblings or, or children of your own or blah, blah, blah. But, like, imagine saying no every single time you go out to Target and stuff. And the kid is always just kind of sad about it. Like, that's how it feels to me. And, like, I realize, like, most people are pretty mature about it and don't actually mind. But, like, it still kind of wears on you a little bit. Anyway. The crash site is secure. Sumayr, you've got a clear approach on the path to the derelict. Two steps ahead of you, Exo. Watch, watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. Let's see. So, Wander, how do you choose what games you're going to play then? Honestly, it's mostly based on what developers send me. Because the hidden side of suggestions is there's a whole slew of... One second. The package is delivered, Exo. I'm taking the Leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Meyer. Dr. Maraud, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Oliveira. We're making our way inside now. All right, people. You know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Maraud. Okay. Um. Okay, so we've got some enemies in the area. I'm gonna hide behind here and I'm gonna pop out. Because they're not gonna be able to see me. Anyway, so the hidden side of suggestions is there's a there's a whole industry of game developers and PR people that are also asking things of me. I'd show you guys my inbox, but unfortunately they Half of some of the headlines straight up just have Steam keys in them. Um, I might be able to call shot like this. Do I? I do a precision strike against them. 33 there, 2% on the head. 
or we just go for Vigilance, or we just hit him. You know what? Honestly, Precision Strike. Hit that torso. Okay, there we go. Uh, but every day I wake up to about 5, 10, 15. It really varies on the day and a bunch of other things. Uh, but I'll, I'll wake up to a whole boatload of emails from from developers asking for me to cover their games or you know maybe not necessarily cover their games but uh, sending PR blasts and stuff like that and they are uh, kind of relentless it's not actually that big of a deal let's see let's do precision strike again can I go for the torso we missed last time probably should have just Taking out that leg, honestly. Every day you get that many? I mean, it, it is a lot. Today alone I've I've got twelve emails, I think. I, I can check. I guess I can check right now, seeing as we're talking about it. Um Okay, so emails just press blast and whatnot. In the last twenty-four hours, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. 13 different press emails on my primary inbox alone. That's not even counting about 13 more on promotions and about 13 more on updates. So I got about 50 emails in the past day. Um, so, Weedcraft DLC, a new game called Void Run, World War Z major update, uh, an update for the uh, Frankie's Revenge game, a game called Revenger, a sponsored. Uh, request for the Hob on the Switch. Stellaris Ancient Relics. Phantom Path, a puzzle exploration game. Something about the Square Enix E3 Expo. They want me to co-stream it. Uh, some guy from uh, with a South Carolina themed game called Bugs and Boo Hags. And also, hey, I got my Shattered, uh, Shattered Tale of the Forgotten King key. Each one of those has a key or some like request and whatnot. Let's see. And do they resend their games if you don't look at them? Yes, often. Um, and so, like, of all of these things, yeah, if we go to the promotions, it's completely new emails. And so, yeah, I potentially got upwards of 25 different games that I uh, that were requested of me to cover today alone. And it's not that actually, it's not actually that big of a deal. Because, um, for the most part, I just don't cover all of them. I, I can't. Um, so usually what I do is every day when I wake up, I look, Hey! Dr. Mirage, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argo's main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant? Talk to me! Okay, so we're having some cover cover problems and line of sight issues. I'm not actually sure if it matters or anything like that. We'll see. Well, do we want to go up a bit? Problem is, move out too much. And I get ganked. Okay, so we can't see anybody where we currently are. I can see someone if I move right here. There we go. Um... But yeah, so usually my my morning ritual is to straight up look at my look at my inbox and be like, okay, how many of these games actually look good? You know, how many of them are obviously like made with some level of quality, and how many of them were are just like I'm gonna say relatively cheap looking. Um, relatively cheap looking, you know, indie experimental projects. Actually, can I can I just hit him from here? Yeah, looks like I can. There we go. And yeah, quite a lot of them are actually not very good. Dr. And Rod, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do 
you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Okay, so we can we can probably get in a little bit more aggressive. Shutdown alert. Okay, let's turn off all these medium lasers. Well, shoot. Well, I tried to bulwark. That didn't work. I screwed up. I thought I was trying to bulwark to get rid of the heat, but I guess that didn't function. I should have been paying more attention. Let's just move in and blast this guy. I'm still not used to the heating stuff. Okay. Do we just go for a scorpion, galleon, or keep going for the locust? Aim for the locust core. Probably. Well, that did some horrible damage to it at the very least. It doesn't look like it has a whole lot of other guns and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so... Usually there's like a, a small handful of, of games from my inbox that are actually like worth grabbing. But there are quite a number of them that are actually like really good. Okay, can I just shoot that guy from here? It looks a little dicey. That gives me a good shot at the tank. Perfect. Yeah, jump jets cause a lot of heat, even if you don't shoot. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I just, uh, I thought bulwarking reduced your uh, heat generation, but I guess I was wrong. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter either. Okay, so Brothor, Brothor's kind of messed up. For obvious reasons. Honestly, we're just gonna have him brace. It looks like we're doing fine here, at least for now. There's at least a couple more pirate reinforcements though. Bonk. It might honestly be worth getting a, a small platoon of, like, axe mechs to just run around and, and smack-o things. That'd be kind of fun. Um, but no matter what, almost all of those games from that, like, that inbox of mine, of all those new games... Oh, you think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from Grim's, Grim Sibyl. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. That's a big mech. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire. You should be able to take it. Okay, enemy turn. It's going to take him a little while. We've barely taken any damage, which is good. Brothor needs to just continue to cool down. Glitch is doing great. Let's see. Guarded and entrenched. Garden and entrenched. Okay, and behemoth. Now I could maybe jump jet? No. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see anybody from here. Nope. I guess we'll just garden and entrench here. Perfect. Because we should be able to see this dude. Um, whose turn is? Oh, it's it's hers. That's some amount of damage we can do to this guy. Ah, we missed with the PPC. Dang, that one hurts. But yeah, so interruptions aside, almost all of those uh, all, almost all of those emails contain something that I generally should be covering before I think of suggestions um, from like older games because uh, from a purely business standpoint, older games on YouTube uh, can do well. you know there there is a space for games that somebody hasn't seen in a while. Uh, easy example, I guess well, I guess Superland. That's a that's a game that was generally underserved by by the gaming market. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually walk down from here, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. Okay, so let's take a look at my heat.
Okay, let's turn on the AC2s first. And then a medium laser, and then another medium laser. And that's about all I'm gonna be able to fire, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not great. Well, we're doing better than we, we did last time, that's for certain. Okay, Behemoth. Now we could just roll in and smack. Honestly, she does more damage this way anyway. Maybe I should have shot. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, Brothor. Can you... Actually, can you just light up somebody from here? Yes. But it might cost me. We can do some damage to this guy. Oh, but we are going to overheat. Turn off one of those medium lasers. Did some damage. Oof. But you. Holy crap, short lasers do not fire. Well, we got a stray shot on one of them, so it kind of works. Oh. Now we... They're not getting through my armor yet, which is nice. Okay. Let's just go in for the big punches. Ah, oh, it's unsteady. She didn't fall, though. Ooh, head hit, pilot injured. Uh-oh. Those are not good for me. Okay, and it's... freaking hiding. Oh, we can't do anything anyway. I guess let's just brace. Glitch. Or maybe I just had all the guns guns off. I'm not entirely sure. Not great. Looks like she's mostly just running from me. Okay. So I think we did a fair bit of damage. Let's go punch this guy. Okay, RL. Oh, right leg. Oh, we got knocked down. Uh-oh. But she's just stacking injuries. Well, considering everything. Otherwise, I could shoot him from here. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. This is not going great. How are you not dead yet? Cripes. Okay, my turn. How is this... Amslog not dead. Let's turn off... Turn off the AC2s. They can't hit here anyway. There we go. Okay, my turn. Let's see if we aim for her. If we still don't get the S laser, I will have to turn that off. Honestly. Is that it? Well, we took out the arm, so she has no gun. Well, there goes my arm. 
She's not dead yet, though. Miraculously. Stand up. Is that her whole turn? No. Well, vengeance. How? How is she not dead yet? Okay. Let's see. So, no M lasers. We just gotta do AC2s. And maybe one M laser. Okay, well, we get the knockdown at the very least. This is a pricey mission, but that's okay. Dude, going for the... If we, if we shoot from here, no. Move there. Let's do a precision strike. There we go. Get your lance to the Argo Commander. I'm just about done. Uh, all right. Uh, what? Okay. Do a regular move. Okay, so we're no longer on fire. Wait, oh, we're going over here. Shoot. I'm going the wrong direction. Act B. I, I am not an expert with these camera controls, to be totally honest. Okay. Yeah, wrong way. Sorry. I didn't realize that we were getting on the Argo. Or, I forgot that this was the Argo, I guess is the real answer. Okay, we're good. I think we got it. It's done, I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now, celebrate later. Roger that, hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is gonna fly. Mission successful. Oh, do we get this ship? That's kind of cool. I'll admit that that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've destroyed everything. We get no bonus. We took some hits, but we get a million. Uh, we get a million, so it's, it's kind of okay. This is going to take some doing, though. So... I like the... I like the quick draw. I wouldn't mind another Shadow Hawk. The crop was okay, but it was heavy. Whereas comparatively, the medium lasers are not bad. We'd need a shit ton of heat sinks, but yeah, let's just load up on M lasers, maybe. What else do we have? Heat sinks, jump jets, ammo. I mean, we could grab another crop. Just so heavy for the damage. We'll just grab those and then get whatever else. Okay. Well, we're done with that. Let's at the very least check this out. Okay, after the next priority mission. Cool. Okay, medium lasers have the best damage to ton rating at 25 damage per ton. Like in the game? Or just currently? An LRM-10 is great for knocking Max over. I will figure out some kind of long-range missile setup. I'm just not sure when or how or exactly what. One thing that always bothers me about these games is 
You always have the, like, ancient technology that is, like, somehow superior or worth using compared to, like, modern times. I guess Lost Tech is kind of the theory behind it, but, like, for us in, uh, in modern times, all of our stuff from, like, 20 years ago is garbage compared to what we got now. With the exception of maybe longevity, but that's about it. I don't know. That plot point always drives me a little nuts. Even though I know it's justified, it still drives me a little bit nuts. I like these cutscenes, though. Oh. It's her again. In exile, high orbit, Alloway. You've done excellent work, Commander Thor, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you again, Bro Thor, or should I say Commander? You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you, seeing us here on the Alloway, seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to be sure that you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now, with the Argo on its way to Lyrton for repairs, I know. You are everything I remember and more. Can't believe you're standing here. The entire Reach is convinced that you're dead. She was dead. Lord Madeira, too. I'm sorry, later, Irano. The news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were... Directorate Propaganda. Well, crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations, and keep me appraised of whatever decision you come to. Lady Centrella's face winks off the view screen. The dull blue glow of her hollow projection slowly dies away. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda, Brothor. My uncle, my uncles, uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case... They very nearly became true. The Directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier, and in the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. Where, where have the two of you been hiding for the past three years? As far from the Directorate's space as we could get without leaving the frontier, miserable little ball of rock called Zathras. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of in... in... turnicine strife and bloody turmoil. There were power struggles and had nobles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. They were saying it was a typical frontier war world. More or less, living on Kormodir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached and I never saw how rough life outside the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything, Brothor, including me. Okay, you made it off Korma, dear. You found me. Let's, uh, let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back, but I can't do it without you. We have resources, an army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. It means money, a great deal of money. The magistracy is bankrolling you, huh? Unofficially, yes. Using Lady Centrella as an intermediary, the Magistracy sees Camille's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate dealt with, but that isn't, it isn't in their best interest to do so themselves. They'd prefer to keep, it in, keep their own hands clean. The room word periphery is a powder keg, bro Thor. Tensions between the Torian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. If open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistracy wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. And you're House Centrella's best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the Directorate from the board, and the Magistracy lets tensions between the Federated Sons and the Tarians simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Lady Arano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliveira, but I understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me... Taking on the Directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning. And with your help, I will bring them one. 
Join me, Brothor, and we will not fail. You've already sold me on this, Kamea. I pledge myself and my company to your cause. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, you cannot wage war on my behalf. Behalf, will you travel... Your travel restrictions remain in place, and so I shall break them. Now that you've pledged yourself to me, I will buy your company's debts, all of them. You're free to travel and seek clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debt wiped clean. Of course, you'll also be paid for every battle you fight on your behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous, given the clientele you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrella, we have the money we have money to burn. I'll justify your faith in me, Lady Arano. Together we'll make Mastiff Montgomery proud. I'm pleased that you feel that way. In truth, I feel Sir Raju is smiling down on us, even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contract, uh, contact you again. And when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Bro Thor. Our war is about to begin. Lady Arano just brought up or bought up all of our debt, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ship access. We can travel in more systems now, but we should steer clear of the major states. We don't want to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Doc Maraud and her crew got that wrecked ship safely away, they found most of a Centurion in its cargo hold. Not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think we could return it to service. So we can buy the mech bay uh, to check it and order a refit. That mech you wanted is back on. A sturdy and reliable mech. The Centurion is good at both tanking and giving a beating. C9A models are able to engage at any range, but their damage curve increases as they approach a target. Uh, it's freaking out a little bit. Okay. We're going to need to do some mech repairs before our next contract boss. Can't go into combat like this. See me in the mech bay when you're ready. Okay, so I'm no longer... In debt, which is nice. She's out of action for a while. Well, we do have some extra people, so let's go to the mech bay for the time being. And let's start repairing everything. Luckily, it's only repairs. Except for this one. This one got smacked around pretty hard. I don't think we lost a dang thing. Probably worth losing the L laser. It's a neat idea, but no good. At least not for what I'm doing. So we've got some missile spots. We could just jam on a bunch of AC-5s. Actually, I don't think we have... Oh, wait, no, no. We definitely do have an AC-5. Okay. Is that good? That gets me a couple of guns. And one M laser. It's okay. I really wish you could actually change what mounts you have. There's got to be some way of doing it, but I don't know. Let's see, I'm going to move the AC-5 ammo elsewhere then. A lot of missile spots. Like, this thing could... Actually, this thing would be an amazing... What is a holly? Short range missiles. Yeah, once we get a bunch more LRMs, we could actually put this sucker in the back lines and just shoot things. Because it would be pretty fun to actually just have, like, a... A guy with just three LRMs just strapped down in the back. Logged and no shouldn't be too hard. Okay. So can I put one of these guys in storage? Removes all equipment. Yes. Might as well do that cuz I'm not I'm not using that anytime soon. Probably. I don't know. Anyway, we uh everything's a work in progress for pretty much forever. Okay. So at this point we've more or less seen a lot of what this game has to offer. I'm sure there's a hell of a lot more. I don't know how much I'm, of it I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to play a lot of this off camera for fun. Because I'm assuming a lot of these random contracts are are just procedurally generated. Just go out, do a mission, get a bunch of money, come back, rinse, repeat. 
That might be the case. I don't know. I mean, really kind of also depends on the uh, the response. So, eh, for now, I think I'm, I'm satisfied. I enjoy it. I think it's just slow. And I'd almost prefer if it had like a a no fluff game mode or like less fluff game mode i've already got this with like the minimal grind settings turned to max maybe i can actually see if there's uh there's some mods that speed that up a little bit because yeah i think i'd be more interested in just getting a bunch of like free guns and stuff and mostly throwing myself at plot missions let's see can i check customization before you quit like what like my max i have been or do you mean customized company? Because I don't think I can... Yeah, that's that's just... That's just that. God, they look ugly. And yeah, I could definitely go out and, like, buy some more stuff. Flamers. Interesting. But yeah, it looks like it would take a while. Oh, H... probably heavy I don't know what a is oh for the really big ones but yeah the game's about collecting different mechs which is cool but time reputation but yeah cut customized company just changes colors the jump jet assault I got it and unfortunately I think I also lack the uh, the background I think to really enjoy Wait, this is absolutely not the colors that I was rolling earlier. I picked I picked different colors at the beginning of the game and it just took it from me. What the hell? Because it was this, I thought. Well. Wait, yeah, didn't I have like a company name and like a bunch of other things? Whatever, I'm just gonna stick with this. There we go. Okay, well, one way or another, it's a fun game. I like it. It's, I think it's just too long for me. I, I think that's what it boils down to. Boil. I think I already saved, but that that's fine. So, eh, I mean, if people really want me to come back to this one, I can. Otherwise, I will probably move on like the digital game hermit that I am. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.